for the BS Extravaganza Football Forum Pick of the Week. Week like Tennessee. Exactly. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Well, we're going bagless today on the heads uh, just so we can try to look forward to this South Carolina game coming up. Steve Spurrier, the old ball coach coming in. Uh, actually, we're going to their place in Columbia. That's uh, always a nice thing. As a Tennessee fan, though, you know what I'm actually looking forward to? Basketball. Basketball. Basketball season is on the horizon, people. Bruce Pearl. He's going to have the guys ready. Some people are picking Tennessee to potentially be in that. Of course, in basketball, it's completely different from football. You never know who's going to make it, but people seem to like Tennessee's chances this year. So, Oh, but, yeah, this this is football. Football, yeah. Sorry. It's, it's hard to concentrate now. We're wounded. So, uh, let's, let's talk let's, a little bit about Tennessee uh, this last game. How they look? Uh, they look about like nine points. That's about how they look. Their defense looked good for a while. Then uh, it got to the point where their defense was just pretty much pitching to 10 out there on the field because they was out there so much. You know, my confidence was up after watching that Mississippi State game, and I thought, maybe we're getting it turned around. And, uh, you know, I thought, man, we really had a shot. I really believe we had a shot at upsetting number two, Alabama. But apparently, Brandon, we are living in a fairy tale world. That's right. And now I'm going back and questioning, how did we beat Mississippi State? They must have had an off night. I think they did, and our defense stepped up and scored two touchdowns. And then at the end of the game, nobody cared. Nobody cared. Mississippi State knew they was done, and they just kind of let us march down the field on. But anyway, that's just old good memories right there. Well, speaking of old good memories, we're facing who is the coach of South Carolina? The old ball coach. Now, I don't, I don't know that he's beat Fulmer before, has he? Maybe out of 10 times, he or 12, maybe he's beat him. 11. Yeah, maybe 11 or 12. But the thing about it is, I don't think he's beaten him since he's, say, he's Spurrier beat Tennessee when he coached Duke. He's beat Tennessee when he's at Florida. But I don't think he's yet beaten him that he's been at South Carolina. But that could be changing. Oh, he has beat him. They came to Knoxville and won, remember? His first year. Did they? Yeah. I'm so tore they up. They also beat Florida that year. Yeah, maybe they did. Yes, he has beat Georgia. He has beat Florida. And like you said, he has beat Tennessee. So he has beat Fulmer with every team that he's had. So a lot of people say he Spurrier. beat Fulmer's wife. And that, that was that You was, heard it here first. Don't go looking up on the internet on that stuff. Yeah, don't look it up because we're just just trust us. FBI agents will show up to your house and that's that'll be a bad thing. Focusing back on the game, um, I think Tennessee might have a better chance at running the ball if they put the dad gum smokey the dog in there. I think he might be able to run the ball a little bit better than them other guys. Well, actually he's got bad lungs. For smoking. Smoky. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a, a cute name. It's he's got a serious problem. Serious and as would a, you not have a serious problem smoking if he was if he was up there around that environment? Yeah, he's got spots all over him. It's really starting to show. And I even saw on the internet where somebody had a photoshopped a paper bag over his head too. Oh, that's that's a dang shame. Um. Anyways, there's a football game. There's a football game, and this year. <coughs> We like our uh, we like our football team, but it's shot, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, it's been rough for us, but we're we're still gonna hope the best. But uh, I don't know, taking on South Carolina. I, I think, just you know I just hope one thing, Scott. I hope Tennessee don't get caught looking ahead to Wyoming on this one. Yeah, I mean, cause you, I mean, you know they're excited about somebody they might can actually be. be that's right. They could be. Looking ahead, you're right. Well, I only better watch out. That's right. We got off week. Uh, we do? Yeah. Good. I want to go ahead and tell you, Scott. We've been having off weeks. Tennessee's not going to win this game, I don't believe. 
And uh, oh, ye of little faith. That's right. As much as I want to say that we can win, I'm just going to think that I just don't know. For, South Carolina's got a pretty decent offense. They can score some points. We can't. We got, a good, we got a good defense. Uh, I'm going to, you know, I'll throw my, I'll go ahead and throw my score out. South Carolina, 23, Tennessee, 6. Brandon, I don't even know who you are anymore. But, uh, seriously. Um, no, I'm going to go with South Carolina. I mean, I, I think Tennessee could win the game if they had a really great night. But man, I'm just trying to be a, a realist and it's just not looking good. We, we can't move the ball for some reason. And South Carolina's got a great defense. And so uh, that's just, and it's a way game. Um, yeah, I, I see South Carolina and Spurrier getting a win in this one. And I'm gonna say, uh, they're not going to score too many points. What'd you say? Twenty-three to six. I think that's what I said. Uh, I'm gonna go twenty-four ten South Carolina. And let's just make a uh, stern note here. If they lose this game, which they probably will, Farmer, you know, there could be some big news coming out of Knoxville soon. Uh, Either him cleaning the staff out, or they're cleaning him out. I don't know. <coughs> Look for us with another bag over our head, kind of video, maybe, because yeah, it might happen. Uh, I don't even know if they'll be televising this game. Well, uh, I don't know if they are either, but uh, just, you got to keep this in mind. South Carolina does have. Smelly and suck up. And when you have those a are two key players, when you have a combination like that, it's almost unstoppable. They do that smelly suck up play. It's, it's unstoppable. That's right. So this is the uh, BS football form. We're uh, a little depressed, a little depressed, a little tired. But you know what? That's life. Life goes on because basketball season is right around the corner. And we'll be smiling again. That's right. Until next time. Peace.